Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone, Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakodash. Yahweh being Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, I'm going to give a shalom to our sincere brothers that's pushing teaching the truth worldwide, and shalom to you sincere listeners and you sincere believers, all right? Here with the um, stumbling block of baptism upon our people, truly a stronghold, and truly have our people, uh, the masses of our people, and I say our people, I'm speaking to you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, who make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. You are God's chosen people. All right, this truth is for you. All right, this message is for you. All right, repentance is for you. Deliverance is also for you, okay? But one of those strongholds and in, in in what has our people in the chokehold is the, is the Christianity church and their doctrines and their body of teachings. All right, one of those being baptism, okay? Baptism by, by water, okay? But so I'm going to start off with uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, verse uh, verse 3. All right. It reads, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And one of those strongholds definitely being that baptism by water. All right. Sucking it, sucking in the congregation and feeling that you're holier than thou after you're dumping into the water. Under, underwater for two or three seconds and being brought back up, all right, when nothing truly has changed, all right, and, and, and ultimately it's a process anyway, okay, Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 one more time, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, so yeah, that's why uh, this is what brought me for doing the lesson concerning this topic, all right, because this is this is still to this very day, all right, even though it's not, you know, common sense is not so common. All right, this this still this is still a consistent stumbling block upon our people. So the warning, you know, must continue to go out. All right, so and just to grab the definition of church, just to grab the definition, just to get this out of the way. All right, it reads a gathering. And you see this this is concerning church. All right, and I let me let me click in the Greek. Let me click in the Greek because this is the origin. Of the of the uh, of the meaning of the word church, okay. Strong's G fifteen seventy seven, ecclesia, ecclesia, ecclesia. All right, meaning a gathering of citizens called out of their homes into some public place, an assembly. All right, this is an assembly of people conveyed at the public place of council for the purpose of deliberating. Look at this definition here, the assembly. The assembly of the Israelites, okay, all right, because the Israelites are the true Christians, and the in Christian is just the worship and the following after the anointing, all right, after the Hamashiach, okay, after Yahweh Shai, the true name. That's the true name of our of our Savior. That's the true name on, of the only begotten Son, not Jesus, not Yeshua. All right, it's Yahweh Shai, okay, and this has to do with the assembling of the Israelites, man. All right, so just the uh. Go straight to, straight to the point, straight to the scriptures. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26, and it reads, <clears throat> I'll start a, ver a verse up. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. All right, and it, ha and it has to do with the marriage, the marriage of Yahweh Shai and the church. All right, that assembling of the Israelites, okay? One that have, has, is truly worshiping and following after the ways of our Savior, okay? So this is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26, and it reads, well, I start verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Yahweh Shai also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Okay? In the, in the times we're living in now, it's spiritual. It's, it's, it's by the word. All right? It's always been spiritual. Don't get the words misconstrued or mistaken. All right? But the, 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 through Yahweh Shai, okay, this has, this has uh, because Yahweh Shai is the word. All right, let me get that in Matthew chapter 3. All right, Matthew chapter 3, you truly bring it home. And this is concerning the preaching of John the Baptist. All right, where baptism truly originated from, okay? 
So this is Matthew chapter 3. Matthew chapter 3, and I'll go down. Um, Matthew chapter 3, verse, verse 8. And it reads, bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. Meat going into acceptable for the Lord. All right, and that's exactly what we're here for. We, we're, these messages and these these videos and these the true teachings of the Bible are for for those that are able to accept the, the entirety of the scriptures, to accept the entirety of the doctrine. Okay, from from the, from Genesis all the way up to Revelations, including the books of the Apocrypha. All right, verse nine, and think not to say within themselves, we have Abraham to our father. All right, and that basically that saying. That oh I'm a I'm a I'm an Israelite regardless I'm good regardless you know I'm God chosen I'm, I'm God chosen people regardless I'm a, he said he said we're gods all right but but what was what what's the response for I say unto you that the Most High is able to is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham see the Lord the Lord is able to use any and every, any and everything man that was created all right so we, we have no <laughs> no leeway. All right, or freedom to be proud, okay? No opportunity, okay? Verse 10, it says, And now also the axe is laid up unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth forth not, not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. And one of these things that does not bring forth good fruit, all right, would be the Christianity church. It's, it's going to get brought down, all right? Every every uh, false teaching that's, that's out there within the world is all going to get put down. All right, it's all a stronghold upon our people. Okay, it's going to get cast to the fire. It's going to be destroyed. All right, and it's being destroyed through this process now. The, the true edification, the true teachings are coming out through the men of the Lord, through the prophets of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and primarily, mostly through the branch, branch of Great Millstone GMS. Okay, Matthew chapter three verse eleven, which is truly the point. This is Matthew chapter three verse eleven. It reads, "I indeed." This is John the Baptist speaking. I indeed baptize you with water unto, unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Then this is speaking upon Yahweh Shai, whom the world will ignorantly call Jesus, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. All right. So that, that, that goes to show that, yes, it was a part of our heritage, it was a part of our culture, it was a part of our traditions and customs. So, yes, be baptized. Through by water, of course, going through uh, John the Baptist, but now in the times we're living in, all right, this is all through the Holy Spirit, okay. Verse uh, Matthew chapter three verse twelve it says, "Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire." Because Yahweh Shah is coming back, man. He's coming back with destruction, man. He's not coming back to with hugs, hugs, giggles, and laughs. All right, and that's another false teaching, the stronghold upon our people. Our people just don't think. Our people think. Our people, man, the it, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who are scattered worldwide don't even think Yahweh Shai is going to return. They don't even think he's coming back. Okay, but those that do believe he's coming back don't understand that he's coming back with violence. Okay, judgment, fire. All right. With innumerable amounts of angels coming coming to mostly judge, man. All right, but also coming to deliver the elect, to come to deliver the sincere believers in these, in these last days. All right. So Matthew chapter ten verse thirty four. Think not, I am. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. All right, these are Yahweh Shai words. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. This is simply to show that Yahweh Shai is coming back. <coughs> Salaki, excuse me. But Yahweh is, is is sincerely coming back to kill and destroy. All right? Millions, billions of people. Okay? This scripture alone is, is straight to the point. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. So when you think upon Yahweh Shah returning, don't think upon just some white angel floating in the sky, soft, sweet. All right? No. Think of a dark complexion man that is described in Revelation chapter 1. All right, a feet is brass as it burned in the fire. All right, eyes are red. Okay, voice of many waters. All right, the the people's hearts are gonna be filled for fear. Expect these things that the scriptures speak about. All right, not these speculations and and what your Christian pastor makes up on a week to week basis. All right, it says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. 
I came not to send peace, but a sword. Yahweh is coming back with a sword, man. Okay? Simple, it's simple as that. Okay, but just to add... <clears throat> just to add to the lesson. All right? That... <clears throat> and, and just to show that that the uh the word doesn't change this is um psalm chapter 119 verse 9 and truly ephesians all right would would, would be the best and, or better scripture especially for, to uh to cut the out the ideology and the way of thinking of the of the christians because it's used in the new testament but just to show that that the the word of the scripture the word of the bible doesn't contradict one another all right this is psalms 119 verse 9 it reads beth Wherewithal shall a man shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereunto according to thy word. All right. This is according to the scriptures. You want to get your get get your spirit right. You, it says, Blesses he that readeth. All right. Supplication and being diligent in the word of God. In, in the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Where we where the where the true supping, you know, is uh is you know is is presented. All right, through the word. Okay, so Psalms 119 verse 9, Beth, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed there, thereto according to the word, according to thy word, all right? And that baptism by water is just another, it's truly a, 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 a so-called cheat route, all right, or a lazy route because the Christians, they don't want, they don't want, they don't want you doing, asking diligent questions. They don't want you doing diligent studies. They just want you to keep tithing. All right, keep being part of the congregation. Keep, be, keep being simple. All right, and stupid. All right, but ultimately understand that it's all it's all up to the Lord. It's all up to the Lord. So this is it's all at the end at the end all be all. It's still it's all spiritual. Okay, but but to those that are able to to see and understand the, what these scriptures are truly saying and able to uh, battle and, and, and get over the obstacle of that stumbling block of the baptism by water. Hey, this is for you. You know, this 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 video, this truth, and these scriptures are for you. Simple as that. All right, but Matthew chapter 3, verse 11 truly brought it home of how John the Baptist explained that, hey, I utterly, I baptized you with the water, but he that cometh after me shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And, that, and that's Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai wouldn't leave us comfortless. Okay? You know what? Let me get that, and I ended off with there. <coughs> Yep, this is it. John chapter 14. Yep, yep. Look, it says the role of the spirit. See? John chapter 14, verse 16. And it reads, And I will pray. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking, who the world incorrectly called Jesus. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. All right? Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, is not for everybody, because it see of him not, neither know of him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. And that's the, that's the Holy Bible. The word, the, the, the scriptures. All right. The, the scriptures speak about in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7, that Yahweh Shah comes in the volume of the book. All right. So Yahweh Shah is still with us through the, through the spirit, through these scriptures, man. These scriptures are life. They are truth. Okay. Lives are, you know, uh, yeah, life of, of living water. Okay. So there you have it, man. The role of the spirit is 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 the is, is spiritual. It's through the Holy Spirit now. Okay, it's through is there is through uh the true baptism is is through taking heed through the word. All right, and not through being dumped in 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 a pool of water for five, ten seconds, three three to ten seconds, and being brought back up. No, man. All right, that, but that's just a stronghold unto a stumbling block unto our people. And Lord willing, this lesson, all right, cuts. Or it was very clear into understanding the true baptism according to what the scriptures say, according to what the Bible actually says. All right. So, Lord willing, it was edifying, also encouraging. All right. I went in about giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. All right. And hey, repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right. Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.